In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find and install free, great looking WordPress themes that exist right inside of your WordPress website. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you have not done so yet, please make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started on this one. Every WordPress site runs a theme, and the theme I'm currently running defines how this page looks. And this page is the home page right now. It's set to show all the latest posts on the website. And I just have two posts on here. They're completely unrelated, but they are posts and they have content. And this is how the theme displays them. Plus there is a sidebar on the side. To change your theme is really simple. Just go into your dashboard, go to appearance and then themes. It shows our active theme right here. We just have one installed. If we had multiple installed, we'd see multiple little boxes. Here we just have one, so it's one big box, and this is one that's active. If you want a new one, click on Add New, and search through the hundreds, maybe thousands of themes they have in here. And these are fantastic themes. Sometimes all you need is a free theme. You customize it a little bit, and it's perfect for your needs. If you want specific features in your theme, click on the Feature Filter. Check the boxes you want. Let's say I want to have a blog on my theme. I want to have featured images and I want to have custom backgrounds, accessibility ready and a grid layout. Click on apply filters. That's going to show all the themes that qualify for those filters. And here's a theme called Neve. It's a great theme by Themeisle. If I want to install this one, just click on install. And now it's installed and it's on my site, but it's not yet the active theme to activate it click on activate. And now it says congratulations, new theme installed. We don't need to worry about that right now, but we have our Neve theme right here. The active theme will always be in the top left and it will say active in front of it. And our inactive themes are now to the right. If I go back to the website to see how it looks, we see our content display a little differently. It still might not be displayed how you want it to be, but it is a new theme and it is different. I'll show you where you can customize the appearance of the content in just a minute. One last thing I wanna show you if you go back to themes and add new, you can preview what a theme will look like on your site. Just click on the preview button and it will load some demo content and show you what it will look like. And if you don't like it, just hit the X. If you preview a theme and you do like it, they can hit install and install it. And any theme that you install, you're gonna end up customizing. None of them are gonna be exactly what you need. Even if you buy a paid theme, you're mostly buying the features that a paid theme brings. You're not buying the exact layout. Almost everybody wants to customize a theme at least a little bit. To customize themes, go to Appearance and then Customize. Inside the Customizer, themes will allow you to customize pretty much everything. And sometimes there'll be free versions and pro versions, and the pro version will allow you to customize more, but the free versions will allow you to customize a lot. For example, if we wanted to change the typography, which is the text on the page, click on Typography, click on headings, click on H2, there's probably H2s right here, and we can change the transform to be all uppercase, make some all uppercase. We can change the font size to make them bigger. We can change this for desktop or tablet or mobile. We can change them all. And if we, as we click on these, we see the layout change to the different device sizes and you can change the typography on the page to look just how you want it for those devices. You can also change the colors quite easily, go to colors and backgrounds. You can switch back out of mobile on the bottom. These buttons on the bottom will never leave. They'll always be there as long as you're in the customizer. You can change the link colors, hover link color, text color in the free version. The paid version offers more for this particular theme. But if we change the text color to let's say blue, it makes it all blue or purple, or whatever color you want, or red. And you can go through and make all the changes you want to make, and then click on Save, and those changes will be reflected on the front end of your website. If you don't like any changes you make, click on the gear icon, click on Discard Changes, click on OK, and now all the changes that you did not publish will be removed and reverted back to what they were before. So you have the flexibility to change pretty much anything on your site using the customizer. When you install a new theme, you may also want to change the widget area. The widget area is on the right hand side, this area right over here. We can change that by going to appearance and then widgets and it shows our sidebar 
and these are the active widgets currently in the sidebar. You can choose different ones from over here and drag and drop them and they'll just appear on the right hand side. All these widgets have options. You can see the options by clicking the little down arrow. The search bar has a title. Recent posts allows you to add a title, change the number of posts you want to display, add the display date. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Just read through them and change them as you want. There's also a lot of plugins in the WordPress repository that allow you to add more widgets to the sidebar. I have linked to the tutorial in the card up above in the description down below to a plugin tutorial to show you how to install plugins and how to use them on your WordPress site. And the very last thing I want to show you is if your theme that you install has a specific home page that is not, for example, a blog page, because here we just have the blog and it shows all our recent blog posts. If you have a specific home page that comes with the theme and you want to make that the front page, the way you do that is you go to settings and then reading, you choose a static page for home page displays. And for the home page, you choose whatever page that is. It's usually called home. I currently don't have one called home, so I'll just choose shop. And then for posts, this is where the blog posts will now appear. You'd have a page called blog. Currently don't have one called that either. So I'm just going to choose my account, click on save changes. And now if I go to the home page, it's going to show my shop, which has some instruments in it. But you would then see your home page, whatever came with that theme as the front page. And next up is checking out this playlist right here, which contains loads and loads of beginner WordPress tutorials to help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can create awesome stuff. So make sure you check out that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.